Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, uh, the Russians are not doing very well. And uh, that is, the Ukrainians are able and willing to attack Crimean Peninsula at will, it seems like. Not only attack, but successfully uh, blow up uh, targets. And not targets like trees or cars or anything like that, but um, oil supplies, uh, uh, depots, and I am waiting for the Kirsch Bridge to be blown up. If you can hit something with so much, uh, with such precision, like today, they just blew up another another target near the bridge, and it was not in a plain field. Or anything like you know nothing just over there it was a targeted um, position and they uh, they they successfully conducted the operation and there is uh, multiple drone attacks uh, including one oil fire near the Crimean bridge so here is the article um, that I will discuss in this video this article comes from the new voice of Ukraine Russia under attack, indeed, multiple drone attacks inside Russia, including massive oil fire near Crimean Bridge. So this is just this morning, May 3rd, 2023. So here's a picture right there. Smoke from a fire at an oil depot near the Taman port. View from the side of the Crimean Bridge across the Kersh Strait. Here you have it. Now, that's not a uh, um, small event over there. This is close to this little thing. And I covered an article this morning uh, before this one where the Russians reported an, I don't know, they claim it was a failed assassination attempt on Vladimir Putin last night. Two drones attacked the Kremlin. And exploded. The Russian says, yeah, we disabled them. Uh, you disabled them so well that they uh, uh, came across the, you know, the, the wall and then they exploded inside the Kremlin. That's how well you disabled them. So the same here. I don't know what the, the Ukrainians are using, but they're using something that the Russians don't have an answer. I mean, however you want to call it. Uh, that's how should I put it? In the past four days, the Ukrainians hit uh, the Russian positions uh, clearly with no, uh, you know, oh, maybe it was an explosion, yeah, a pipe, just uh, an accident. I don't think so. Two, train derail two trains derailed freight trains in Bryansk Oblast, which is north by uh, Belarus, in, in Russia. Two of them. One yesterday, another one the day before. Another depot was blown up like four days or five days ago. Again, there was not an accident and it was in Crimea, if I remember correctly, again. And this is again in Crimea, closer to the bridge. Now, the Kersh Bridge is on the eastern side of the Crimean Peninsula. So let me show you how far these guys had to be able to shoot with such a precision to destroy that um, depot. So let's go back to this little thing here. So here is the Russian map from Sputnik, and here is Crimea right here, and uh, this is Kersh Bridge right here. So these guys hit something around here, and remember this from the Kersh Bridge to here is about 200 miles, 200 kilometers at least, 200 kilometers. So they, it was a long shot, whatever they used, drones or uh, a missile or whatever they used. So it was here in this area. I mean, the picture was taken from here somewhere. And then uh, the uh, explosion occurred somewhere on this side. I mean, according to this picture right here, which is very... Oh, not like this. We don't want this one. It's very clear that it's... You can see the fire from... Oh, see this little boat here? And you see the fire over there. And those are... Um, it's oil right there, I'm guessing. So, again... Look how close it is. The, you can see the flames from here. The same from here. If you just uh, do it, you can see that. So that, that's close. That's what. That's my my point. Is very close. So it must be here in the area. It cares right here next to it. So 
So if these guys are able to hit it from somewhere here, there with such precision, that's bad news for the Russians and they can't do anything about it. So a massive 1,200 square meter, around 13,000 square feet fire erupted at a Russian fuel storage facility near the port of Taman with flames and smoke towering over what is believed to be a large fuel tanks to be large fuel tanks plural according to photos published by Reuters on May 3rd and uh, resting near the village of Volnia about 15 kilometers from the Crimean bridge Russia uses the port of Taman as a military logistics hub for southern Ukraine locals reported explosions at around 2 a.m. The engulfed fuel tanks contains 20,000 cubic meters of fuel, said Russia Ran TV. And I'm quoting, the fire has been classified as the highest rank of difficulty. That means it's going to be hard to extinguish it. Krasnodar Krai governor wrote on Telegram, adding that there are no victims and no danger to the public. But that it doesn't really matter compared with uh, the symbol of being hit so far and so precisely. The smoke is visible even from the other side of the Kirsch Strait from the Ukrainian peninsula of Crimea. So, um, the, while authorities have yet to comment on the cause of the fire, Russian outlets said it was a drone attack orchestrated by Ukraine. However you, wanna, um, however you want to turn it left or right or five drones, one drone, uh, that's a successful operation. All right, bottom line. You can say, well, there were like 50 drones and we destroyed 49 of them. Yes, doesn't matter. They got one that hit the target and they were able to do that. Including the fact that if that drone was able to travel this far, if it traveled from Ukraine or it only just uh, took off from and from the territory of, I don't know, Crimea, from that area, doesn't really matter. They were able to do it. So uh, it would be more... Uh, uh, extraordinary if they, if that drone came from all the way from the other side of the front from the let's say uh, Ukraine whatever Ukraine is right now flew over Red Rover and went and destroyed that point right there and remember they also attacked the Kremlin now the Kremlin is not uh, you know 200 kilometers from uh, the war zone the Kremlin is much more than that so 400, 500 kilometers, and they were able to go and find the Kremlin, two drones, not one, two, and there were not 50 attacking, and the Russians destroyed, as I said, uh, 48, and just do two escaped somewhere. No, there were two, and out of two, 100% uh, efficiency uh, hit uh, Kremlin. Don't give me that. Oh, they were disabled. They were not disabled. If they were disabled, they would land nicely and they would be somewhere. They would not explode on the Kremlin if they're... Because in the article that I read from Reuters, the Russians claim they disabled and everything was safe. How was safe when I saw pictures with the explosion? Uh, anyway, it's also a video, but I uh, couldn't uh, play it here. So I'm guessing the guy wants a lot of money. I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm just uh, uh, kidding. So... Every day, what's going to happen now? I don't think that uh, this depot attack will change anything, but definitely the attack on Putin uh, and the Kremlin, Kremlin, so on the presidency, the office, the institution of the presidency of the Russian Federation, I think that would escalate uh, gravely the situation for the Ukrainian and for the Western partner okay or partner you can use him partner because it's one who's uh, one is who's the chess player and everybody else are just you know pieces on the chessboard okay uh, that's all thank you very much for being with me again today this will not happen uh, I mean this would what can the Russians do what they haven't been doing regarding this nothing they did the exact thing and they continue to do the exact thing the Ukrainians will do this so this would not be an escalation, but the Putin thing, definitely. I hope you don't look to the east, wherever you are, or the west, or north, um, and uh, see some uh, big uh, light. You know what I mean? Big light, like a uh, sunrise. 
I, I, don't, I hope we don't see that. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.